morning. I'm Ms. Guaya, the administrator. Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Ms. Garza, the diagnostician. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Lopez, the general education teacher. Hi, good morning. And Ms. Gamita, um, the special education teacher. Good morning. It's a pleasure to meet you. So today we'll discuss Adrian's IEP, which is his individualized education plan, and how we will modify and accommodate for his ninth grade year. Okay, so Adrian's currently in ninth grade. Um, he has been diagnosed with orthopedic impairment. Um, he's enrolled in a ninth grade level instruction in his three core subjects in a, in a resource classroom, and he shows cognitive weakness in reading and writing, um, according to data collected from his teachers. Well, we're just um, anxious to see what you all have come up with to see what will benefit our child and help him strive as much as he can. Um, up to now, he can read fluently. Um, he comprehends basic written passages, and he follows along. And the problem we have right now is that he cannot perform to grade appropriate readings because of unfamiliar words, text structure, and distractions he has. Ms. Ramirez and I will be working together throughout the semester to assure that your son receives all the additional aid he needs in order to succeed in the ninth grade. Here at Roma High School, we take pride in our special education program. I can assure you that we take our time needed to create each child's IEP, and with the help of our staff, Adrian will receive the assistance he needs. Thank you. And what exactly is on Adrian's IEP for this year? So the first skill area we are going to discuss is English. And our, for, our first goal for English is to help Adrian understand new vocabulary and when it comes to reading and writing. His success will be measured using daily work, assessments, and observations. In order to reach this annual goal, we will be setting two short-term objectives to assist Adrian. The first short-term objective consists of giving Adrian a dictionary and having him learn to search for definitions of unfamiliar words on his own. The second short-term objective is to have Adrian use the context of different sentences to determine the meaning of unfamiliar words or multiple meaning words. Yes, I agree. Um, please just let us know exactly what it is that we can use um, at home. Um, we have. I know we have some books at home. Um, we can send you a list and you can let us know what's appropriate for your situation. Yes, I agree. That sounds like a great idea. The second English-based annual goal we have for Adrian is to improve his focusing skills as well as reading and comprehending written passages with a better understanding of new vocabulary by using a dictionary. For his short-term objective, Adrian will be given a dictionary to break down passages and achieve full comprehension of what he has just read. Well, yes, definitely let us know if we will be needing to purchase anything for him like the dictionary or just any other supplies you might need you know, to carry this school through. No, Ms. Rodriguez, we will actually be providing the dictionary. I also noticed that Adrian was demonstrating cognitive weakness in math. Um, along with Ms. Ramirez and Ms. Lopez's observations, I collected some information um, regarding that. So the first math annual goal includes Adrian improving his ability with linear functions to write and represent in multiple ways without using technology and with using technology. Linear equations, inequalities, and systems of equations, like in the previous goal, his success will be measured using daily work, assessments, and observations. The first short-term objective to assist Adrian in reaching his annual goal is to learn how to use calculation devices. Adrian will write systems of two linear equations given a table of values, a graph, and a verbal description. As for the second short-term objective, Adrian will follow along in class as the teacher is given instruction with linear equations, inequalities, and systems of equations. During these lessons, Adrian will be given a calculation device. The second annual goal we have created for Adrian involves him improving his calculator skills from present levels of performance. The first short-term objective, Adrian will be given a calculator and with assistance and guidance from the teacher, he will improve his skills. The second short-term objective to create this goal would be for Adrian to attend tutoring sessions to improve his calculator skills for the benefit of the end of course exam. Okay, now we're going to move on to physical education. Um, at the moment, Adrian has continued to improve um, on his fine and gross motor skills. He's working on his skills by practicing movements like stretching and sports. Related activities, for example, climbing a jungle gym or just pedaling exercises. This will continue to assist him on making more independent since he will be working with others and will not require him to rely on assistance at all times. Um, Adrian continues to progress on his maturity in his activities with minimal assistance from the coach, but his success rate is at 95% and with a small difference on his independent level, which is 85%. The annual goal for Asia will be to begin applying new movement concepts 
and principles to the learning development of his motor skills. They will be measured by using the educator's observations. So for the first short term objective, Adrian will be given 30 minute sessions once or twice a week using one or two step directions giving him oral response to allow Adrian to formulate thoughts. He will be able to identify and apply similar movement concepts and elements in a variety of sport skills such as throwing and kicking. The second short term objective is for Adrian to be able to identify ways in which movement concepts such as time, space, effort, and relationships can be used to refine movement skills. The IEP will be in effect starting tomorrow. Let me give you an insight on how Adrian's schedule will be affected. He will be attending adaptive PE once a week, counseling twice a month, speech and language therapy twice a week, and he will be participating in regu regular education classes. His progress, progress will be shown gradually throughout the semester. So now that we've discussed Adrian's IEP, is there any comments or concerns you'd like to mention? No, I think Adrian will really benefit by taking on these goals and completing these objectives that were tailored to him. Great. Thank you for joining us today. Before you go, I do I would like if you would sign the IEP just so we have proof of your attendance to today's honors. Oh yes, of course. Thank you for having us. Yes, we just really want the best for our son and we really want him to reach his goals. We do as well. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you. We hope to see you soon. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.